So why is it that pretty much anything that we want to attach to the wall comes with the cheapest drywall anchor possible? You probably used these a lot in the past. You have pre-drilled your hole, you tap the anchor part into the wall, you start to tighten the screw and you can't tighten it. The anchor starts to spin, maybe the screw itself strips out because it's a very cheaply made screw. You are not alone. This is super common and is the reason I don't even use these drywall anchors. The default drywall anchors that come in anything I'm hanging on the wall, I pitch. I don't even use them. Let me show you what you can use in its place that will securely hold whatever you're trying to put on the wall and hold it for years to come. It will be flush to the wall and it won't work loose over time. So stick with me, give me a couple minutes and I'll show you a better alternative. So first up, I do want to know, the first thing you should always do is check whatever you're trying to hang. Here I'm trying to hang a new doorbell chime on the wall. Super easy project. It has two mounting holes, one on each side. What you want to do is check to see if there's any studs close to where you want to mount it, where you could get a screw through one of the mounting holes securely into the stud. You're never going to beat the hold of a screw into a wood stud compared to a drywall anchor. So if you can find a stud, at least try to get one of your mounting holes secured within the wood stud. Now for most instances, you're going to be within the wall cavity. You're going to be within the 16 inches, often between studs, and you need to st still securely mount. And you do not want to use the standard drywall anchors because they're just a pain and it doesn't work well for you. Now what I like to use and I carry with me all the time, so I just always have a supply of these, is a metal self-tapping drywall anchor made by Easy Anchor. Now, Easy Anchor also makes a very similar product, but it is the plastic version. These work okay, but I do not recommend the plastic version. I definitely would go with the metal, and that's going to give you the best chance of that secure flush hold to your drywall surface. And let me quickly show you how easy it is to install these into your drywall. So starting off, I'll just check the level and make sure I have the doorbell chime where I want it. Then I will mark the holes with a screw temporarily and then with a Milwaukee Inksol pen so I know exactly where I want the anchors. Then I set the tip by pushing in before rotating. And then while rotating, I always apply firm pressure in. Now this wall is quarter inch plaster on top of half inch drywall. So it's kind of an extreme case and it's actually the edge case for the thickness for which these will work. But you can still drive those in and drive it in flush with the wall and the little paint chips but that's gonna be covered by the doorbell chime. I'll do the other side here, doing the same thing, applying firm pressure in while I rotate until I get the anchor flush. And I actually took a little material out from the head to make sure it goes flush with the wall. Then I'll take these screws and I'll just start to secure the doorbell chime into the anchors. And this is where I think the metals really shine is those anchors are firm into the wall and you can really tighten these screws and get a secure hold on whatever you're putting on the wall. So it really is as easy as that. And hopefully if you guys haven't seen these before or you've just struggled with those really cheap anchors, now you know there is an option and you do not have to fumble through those projects. These are the two that I carry with me all the time. It's the number six size screw and the number seven size screw. So that's 40 pounds per anchor and 50 pounds per anchor. You can check right below the video in the description or in the pinned comment and there'll be links to these products which will bring you over to Amazon. And if you buy through Amazon, you help support the channel with no additional cost to you, so thank you. But you can also get these at any home improvement store if that's easier for you. Now, before you take off, I want to know your comments. Do you guys have different experience or do you guys have a different anchor that you love? Put it down in the comments and I will bring together any common messages and I'll put it in that pinned comment. So you watch this video, you get some value, and then all that information from the comments, I try to bring any common messages up to that pinned comment so it's just more value for you and help you more on your projects. Now, if you haven't already, don't forget before taking off to subscribe to the channel as we have multiple videos coming out per week to help you with your repairs, improvements around the house. We're gonna catch you on the next one. Take care.